And in verse 4, according as God has chosen us in Christ, let's translate this, as God has chosen us in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Now, this brings out two remarkable things. The first thing is this, that he says in verse 4, we were chosen before the world began. Now, we do know that the scripture is quite clear that Jesus Christ himself is referred to as the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So, as I have sometimes mentioned to you previously, that before sin came, the way of escape came. Now, only God, <laughs> and you know we need God, because only God, as a heavenly Father, could make a way of escape before we commit the offence. <laughs> it, it really gives me such a sense of joy and such a, a sense of blessing that before we sinned, the way of salvation was made. Before I was put in prison in 1972 by the communists in Russia, before that happened, God had already planned my way of escape. You know, we have to understand this, the foreknowledge of God, that before we were born, uh, from our very, from the mother's womb, God has ordained a plan and a purpose for our lives. It's that foreknowledge of God. Nothing is happening by accident. Nothing is happening by chance. To us, it's an accident. To us, maybe it's a chance. Maybe we don't understand why these things have happened. But it's the foreknowledge of God. But we have to be a little bit careful when we look at predestination because there are some who've mistranslated predestination to believe that God has predestined us to be saved or to be lost. In other words, that this is Calvinism, that uh, we don't make the, 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 the decision whether we become Christian or not, that it's predestined. No. To me, I describe predestination in the way that my father described it to me. He said, predestination is simply the father on the clifftop. And he's having a wonderful time with his son, and they're having a, a, a runabout with football, and they're kicking this ball about. And the ball is kicked, and it's going towards the edge of the cliff. And that young boy, in his innocence, is running to save the ball. And the father is saying, stop, because the father knows if his son follows that ball in his innocence, he'll fall off the cliff. Now, the father doesn't predestine that the child falls off the cliff, but he has prepared in advance and is seeking to stop. Do you understand? Predestination doesn't mean that God has ordained that you fall off the cliff. But he knows if you carry on in your present way, you will. And he's doing everything in his power to stop you. So what it's saying here is this, that we have been predestined in the sense of right from the very beginning. God had prepared, oh dear, you know, it, it just makes me, me so full of wonder and blessing when I think about this, that when we look at the sin of the world and we look at the corruption in the world and when we look at all the battles between governments and I've just been watching a series on Hitler and how Hitler fought the war and all the terrible things that they were doing and when you look at uh, history and when you look at the terrible things in history, God didn't preordain that this would happen. But what he made in advance was the kingdom, the glory of the kingdom that is to come. So from the beginning, God sees the end from the beginning. We can't. We, are, we live a day at a time. But 
the wonderful thing about our spiritual experience is the certainty that we have our faith, our confidence in God. And you know, I can't overemphasize the peace that I have and the peace that you should, should have is based on God's foreknowledge. That before we were born, I mean, before I was born, God knew that I, I would become the evangelist. God knew that I would be talking to you now. God knew what would be happening in my life before I was even born. But I only look at the things which led me in that direction. But no, God is in control. And I want you to understand that that's where our confidence comes from. 